Hello everyone, in a previous video I showed you how to set up your Wi-Fi connection with the Snickerdoodle and in that video we did it in a way that is going to configure it uh, one time and if you were to reboot or if your power were to go out and the, and the Snickerdoodle comes back on uh, you'll have to do it over again or at least uh, portions of it. Now uh, in this video, we're going to set it up so that when it boots, it'll automatically connect to that Wi-Fi. Now, you still have to do portions of that uh, previous video, so if you haven't watched that, go back and, and, and watch my uh, setting up the Wi-Fi connection video, and uh, you'll need to do that at least once uh, so, you, so you'll have your, your settings uh, good to go, uh, but then we, can, uh, then we can continue on with this. So let's go ahead and get started with setting it up automatically. Okay, first of all, I can't take credit for the actual step-by-step -step instructions for what needs to be happen here. Uh, if you uh, you can find these, uh, what I'm about to do on the forum, the, the critical forum, and uh, Chris here posts uh, so the script that we need to use, and uh, he he put this in the. Uh, interfaces file that's found under the etc uh, slash network uh, directory. Uh, Bush is recommending though that you actually create a th this this script in the interfaces.d directory and then reference it from the interfaces file. Uh, and so that's what we're going to do here. So they provided technical expertise. I'm showing you an actual live demonstration. Sometimes it's easier just to see somebody do it. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, here, here I'm logged into this Snickerdoodle. I'm, I'm accessing it uh, via the uh, USB connection that I showed you in our previous video. And uh, just uh, I'm in my standard workspace here. Let's go, go back to the root here. And just to show you that the Wi-Fi is not set up. I'm going to use uh, ifconfig wlan0 and show you that I don't have an IP address at this time. Okay, and so now we're going to uh, set this up uh, so that it will automatically connect to the Wi-Fi. Um, now this is the point where um, if you haven't watched my previous video, you do have to edit, uh, I think it's a w, uh, WPA underscore supplicant uh, dot uh, CONF. Uh, you need to update that file uh, to, uh, to access your router. Uh, so you need to do, do that still. Uh, but otherwise, uh, let's, let's look here what we have here. We need to go to our ETC network directory. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, and I'm going to change to the uh, interfaces D. And if we do a list there, there's nothing there right now. Uh, we're going to use. Uh, let me let me clear up the screen here so so we have it uh, again. There's nothing there. Uh, we're going to use Nano to create a file, and we're going to call it W. LAN0 because that's the name of the interface that we're setting up. Okay, and uh, I'm going to try this one way just to, to copy and paste. So I'm just going to copy these lines one by one and see if this works. There we go. And uh, I'll give you the link to where you can find this on the forum. Uh, in the description. But this is quicker than just uh, you watch me type and then I, I make an error and then it doesn't work. I wonder if it would do multiple lines here. I only have two more. There we go. Uh, so that's all, all we need to do here. And hit Control X exit and it'll ask you if you want to save this and you hit yes and we want to leave it as we named it hit enter there and now I'm, I'm just going to clear this up here and then hit the ls you can see now we have that file there called uh, wlan0 uh, next we want to just go back to verify um, that our um, interfaces uh, file is uh, uh, it contains the correct reference uh, so we're going to go uh, in here. We're going to go nano interfaces. 
okay? And you wanna make sure you have this line and make sure it's not commented. So what this is doing is just referencing uh, that uh, it needs to go to that etc network interfaces dot d that's just where we created that wlan zero file okay so we can go ahead and exit this and uh, now we can reboot and uh, we should have our IP address so I'm gonna reboot All right, there we go. Uh, now, just to, just to, I'm going to clear this again, and uh, just to double check to make sure it worked, we can do if config wlan zero oh uh, dash zero, <laughs> and you can see now I have the IP address. You can see it's well one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot one zero two. And uh, just to verify that's working, I'm just actually going to close out of this. Uh, actually, I'm going to create a new connection. This time I'm going to go to uh, uh, an SSH session and I'm going to put in that IP address just to confirm that this works. Uh, and this showed up over here. And remember, it's a snickerdoodle and snickerdoodle. And there you go. There's that uh, I'm accessed, accessing it uh, via the SSH in this session right here. Um, and we can just verify we got what we got. So there you go. Um, we did. Uh, we now have uh, the the Snickerdoodle set up so that it connects to our our wireless uh, internet um, as soon as it boots. And so that should help. Uh, reduce some of the hassle when you're using a snickerdoodle. So I hope you like this video. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, pre please like it if you like it. And uh, if you can, support the channel. And we'll talk again real soon.